Welcome to The Dennis Report. I'm Dennis Atchison. This is an episode of As I See It, titled Bilingual Boogeyman. Seems the media like to portray Mr. Austin and the People's Alliance Party in a negative light. And this has consequences when it comes to the language issue in our province. October 27, 2018, Brunswick News described People's Alliance Party as a right-wing populist party. In earlier stories, Brunswick News had described Mr. Austin, the party's leader, as a troublemaker. November 14, 2018, Brunswick News headline, Harsh words traded in language fight, and had a photo of Mr. Austin. The story is about paramedics, bilingualism, and public safety. In the story, Language Commissioner Michel Cattier is quoted as saying, He's fielded plenty of complaints from francophones who couldn't get ambulance service in their own language. A huge stress for someone with a medical emergency. Remember this point. We're going to come back to it. The media makes Mr. Austin and his party look bad, especially when it comes to language. It seems that the fact that the Green Party got less votes than People's Alliance has earned People's Alliance not much respect. Then on November 23rd, Green Party MLA Kevin Arsenault had this outburst on the paramedic issue in the legislature. The fact that the leader of a populist right-wing party has, was given the chance to say that competence supersede language rights at a government press conference, not a partisan one, but a government press conference is nothing less than dangerous and totally unacceptable. Next, a Brunswick News Story, January 11, 2019, with this headline, At least 24 language complaints leveled against A and B. Now this seems to reinforce what Michel Carrier, the language commissioner, said a couple of months earlier. But when you read the story, you find this out. 24 complaints over 11 years. That is more than over a million calls over 4,000 days. It's not an indication of a persistent language problem. It's an indication of a persistently strong performance on language. This is brilliant. And it comes from Chisholm Poitier, the Medivis spokesperson. He can document this. And it's just brilliant. Wasn't the headline? And it wasn't what Michel Cattier said. You have to wonder why the media chose that angle to portray the story as part of our provincial narrative on paramedic service delivery in New Brunswick. In a way, it can be viewed as hurtful because it's divisive and it's issuing blame when what we need is cooperation and solutions. Now, consider this. A Facebook story posted sometime around Christmas from Bob Bigger who gave permission. Won't read the whole thing, but here's some key points. He was talking to a bilingual paramedic who was recruited from Quebec to come be part of the service delivery here in New Brunswick. They've been here for roughly six to 12 months. Been all over the province, filling in shifts as a bilingual person, even though there's a unilingual anglophone available to do the work. Not once has been asked to provide service in French. Not once in all those months. And cannot understand why the translation devices cannot be used for English and French, even though they can be used for any other language. So what's that about? Now here's another Facebook post from Grassroots and what goes on for real in the province. It's from Monsieur Willett, who had an accident off in his ATV in a rural area of Francophone, New Brunswick. And he says this, The ambulance driver spoke only English, and I hardly speak uh, any English at all. If I would have demanded a French paramedic, I would probably be dead. They drove me to the Miramichi Hospital, where the doctors who treated me didn't speak French. Friends, I received excellent service. And today, almost all of my health has come back to me. And things are almost back to normal. The point is, it's about taking care of people's health, first and foremost. And finally, and this is the kicker for me in all of this, a CTV story from Quebec in October of 2012. Six years ago, that's how long ago Quebec has this figured out. Paramedics not required to speak English, urgent santé. The central point of the story, their criteria is not that you're bilingual. We always encourage you, and it's an asset. 
but we will not hire you over another if you're bilingual or not. It will be based on your clinical experience and your medical experience. Politics should stay out of health care. Further to that, the Parti Quebecois agrees, saying health issues should always trump language issues. Put that all together. There is no bilingual boogeyman in New Brunswick. There's a few people in positions of influence and authority, and there's a provincial media who struggle with the answers to two very basic questions. Is it the truth, and is it fair for everyone concerned? Be good, have fun, love each other.